LDBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. And this episode of the Coach Shelton Harrison Show is brought to you by Town Business J. Soul, where you know who it is and you know what it is. Okay, guys, I need to go ahead and just pretty much do an episode of I Tried to Tell You. I tried to tell y'all. I tried to tell some of you delusional trolls that come to my channel. I told y'all that this fight was going to happen. Okay, this fight has already been announced for about almost three weeks, but... I just want to stick it to y'all. I want to stick it to you guys because I told y'all when I made my power chart that this fight was going to happen. You know what I got in my comment section? Uh, coach, this fight ain't going to happen. Oh, it doesn't even make financial sense. Now, now you guys are financial handlers. You don't even make financial sense. This fight ain't going to happen. And I'm sitting here thinking, stupid. Stupid. Like, you got. what do you mean it don't make financial sense? First of all, this fight is going to be a big fight, okay? The Polish people, they're going to support this fight. These are two of their country women. And let me go ahead and add that these two women in the in, in Poland, they're very, they're very famous. They're well known. You don't think the Polish people are going to support this fight. Not They're, they're going to support the fight, and that's just the way that is. They're going to support this fight. See, I, I got to understand, you didn't think the UFC was going to jump on the opportunity to make this fight, to tap and get more views and pay-per-view out of that Polish market. Uh, you got some dumb people, man. And, you know, and I got to sit back and wonder, do these guys even watch MMA? Because they ask me, do you watch MMA? No, stupid. Do you watch MMA? Because I got the comment. And, and you know what? I'm still fairly new to really analyze women's MMA. But I done done my homework enough to know that I done done my homework enough to know that this was going to be a big fight. I done done my homework enough to know that this fight was going to be huge in Poland. And the UFC, they're going to make a lot of money off this off this bout. Stop it. Stop it. I've been around fighting long enough to know these type things, okay? And also, too, I know a couple of managers. I know several managers, okay? I don't know a whole lot of managers, but a lot of the managers of these women, they've been reaching out. And the reason why they've been reaching out is because I'm covering the women. And, you know, they don't have a person that really will just truly, truly cover the women that gets passionate about it. I do because, you know, they don't get a lot of money. And y'all know the story, okay? So some of these managers, they have been reaching out. They have been saying some of them just say, Coach, don't say anything yet. You know, you know, I definitely I'm going to talk to you about X, Y, and D, Z. And a lot, of, a lot of information I do get from some of these managers. I do. Okay, folks, that's just how it is. But I knew about this fight uh, back when I made my power chart about five months ago. And I told y'all, I hadn't talked to any managers back then about this fight. But I did know about this particular fight. I knew that it was going to happen. Because it would be dumb not to have a Polish championship. I mean, come on, people. You got to really think about what's happening here okay what the build-up of this fight all right let's go ahead and really really talk about the fight itself okay i made a power chart and i still stand by my power chart i stand by my power chart my power charts I, i'm i've been undefeated when i when i do a power chart i've been completely undefeated uh every single prediction i made in women's mma thus far i've been completely accurate okay with the power chart now here's what i'm gonna say to this okay this fight, people seem to think that Joanna is going to walk right through Carolina Kovacavich. People seem to think that this is going to happen. Okay, these are the same people who thought that Rose Namajunas was going to walk through Carolina Kovacavich. And I understand that Carolina, I mean, I'm sorry, I understand that Rose and Joanna are two different fighters. I get that. Um, I think that Joanna is definitely a much more skilled fighter than Rose Namajunas. But... A lot of people argue with me back and forth, man. I'm talking about one dude left 10 comments. Oh, there's no way the Rose is going to lose to Carolina, Coach. What, what do you know about him? Man? Not... Shut up. See, because I was right. And Carolina won that fight. She beat the hell out of Rose and I'm a and, 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 and that's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. She beat up Rose and I'm a Eunice. Them knees to the body, to the groin. And let me, let me tell you something, Carolina. It's not going to be an easy fight. She dirty. Not she physically dirty. And I know I got to break everything down to fanboys. I have to. She not physically dirty, but man, she's a dirty fighter. And folks, that's just the way that is. She is. You know, she 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 do crab MAGA, for God's sakes. Do you? That's that's not a clean fighting type martial arts. It's dirty. Very dirty. I mean, Carolina will hit you in the back of the head. She's done that on several occasions. She will kick you in the groin. She's done that in several occasions, okay? And she gets it, she gets it in there because what she'll do is she'll mix it up in her attacks. 
She'll throw some to the midsection, let one go down to the groin, back to the midsection, then she'll hit you in the groin, and then the referee will break it up. The referee, they don't catch it. They never catch it because she does it so subtle that, you know, you can't really pick up on it unless you're really watching the fight. I can see it. She dirty. Okay. What Joanna's going to have to do to defeat this woman? Because Carolina is going to try to impose her will on Joanna. She's going to try to. And I also think that Carolina is stronger. So she's going to try to let that play out. Joanna is going to have to keep Carolina Kovacavich at a range. And she's going to have to keep this girl at the end of her jab. Joanna has a very, very great, and her jab is very strong. She's going to have to keep this girl at the end of her jab. And she's going to have to set Carolina up with a lot of front kicks. I'm talking about when she try to come in, front kick, front kick. And then what Carolina will do is she will try to defend the front kick. And Joanna's going to have to do a small feint and then kick to the head. And Carolina will be set up. Like, she's going to have to play the range, set traps, let this girl walk into a lot of dynamite, dangerous stuff. That's what's going to have to happen in order for Joanna to win this fight. She's not going to win this fight, you know, trying to clinch. Don't, if she clinches with Carolina and if she initiate a clinch with her, it's going to be dangerous. Because then that's when Carolina is going to own the fight. She can't. She can't clinch with this girl. She's going. And Carolina is a big girl for this weight class. I've I've always said that. I've always said that Carolina could easily could easily move up. I mean, she could move up. I'm just saying that's just the way that is. Okay. So I know she does cut weight to get to this weight class, but you know, Joanna will have to use her speed and agility to her advantage. She's much more. She's quicker. She's more agile, and she's definitely you know a more skilled you know striker kicker and all that she's more skilled she can use that she can use her superior footwork man to keep the distance between the two for carolina to win this fight what carolina is going to have to do she's going to have to cut off the octagon she's going to have to do a good job of cutting off the octagon and she's going to have to limit joanna limit her on what she does um she's going to have to close the distance she's gonna to get in to avoid getting hit with so many jabs she's going to have to slip a few of Joanna's weak jabs and she's going to have to slip them and then duck and get it on the inside, clinch, grab and start working her clinch game. She's going to have to do it. Also, she's going to have to try to take Joanna to the ground. Good luck. Okay. Um, and I was wrong on one of my power chart stats that Joanna, I said that she didn't have a good takedown defense. Yeah, well, she actually does. So good luck getting her to the ground. But in the clinch, Carolina could probably do more damage in the clinch than she can on the ground. And that's just the way that is. Um, that's what, uh, Carolina's going to have to do. She's also, it can't be a pretty fight. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm an advocate of people cheating. You're not going to win a clean fight against Joanna. Carolina going to have to go in there and rough her up. I'm talking about get in there and just beat her up, rough her up, body her up. Every time she get close to her, man, hit her with something, whether it's an elbow, a knee, a kick, a kick. To, I mean, she going to have to, hit, and she going to have to, you know, constantly put pressure on Joanna's hip. She's going to have to to slow her down. Okay. And also too, man, load those leg kicks. She's going to have to do those too. She's going to have to. So Joanna can't move around and be as mobile. If she can successfully do that, cut the ring off and limit Joanna's movement, she can win the fight. I'm telling you. And I don't think Joanna going to be, I don't think Joanna will be stupid enough to try to initiate a clinch. I don't think she'll do that. I think she's really going to try to maintain that distance and put on, put on a striking clinic. Because let's just face it, Carolina cannot strike with Joanna. She can't do it. Um, Joanna can't go in this fight underestimating Kovacavich. She can't do it. Uh, Kovacavich is very unorthodox. And that's what makes her so dangerous. She's very unorthodox. And you really don't have an idea where she's throwing. Because she's throwing things from all angles. She's hitting you with punches from every single angle. That they're coming from weird, odd, different angles, and you're like, damn, you know, but it's effective. It's not very technical, but it's effective. I didn't think Carolina Kova Cambridge was very technical against Rose Nama Yunus, but see, her offense was so crude that Rose Nama Yunus had no answer for it. Rose couldn't even try to, she couldn't defend half the stuff that jo, um, Carolina was throwing because it was so awkward and it was so crude. And that's going to play into Carolina Kova Cambridge's, it's, it's going to play right into our hands. This is a 55-45 fight, okay? It's not going to be an easy fight. And I'm, I'm telling y'all this. You heard it live right here on Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. You heard it. It's not going to be an easy fight. 
Um, you know, for you trolls, I know you coming to the channel to try to defend whoever you you in love with. That's fine. But this is my opinion. I broke it down and I break down all these fights that's coming up. And that's just the way that is. Shout out to Liz, MJ, you know, Lighthawk, definitely some of the people that's rolling with me on this MMA live. And hopefully I'm hoping to get some of these people on the show. I, I definitely want Lighthawk. Lighthawk, you listening to this video, man. I want you on the show. OK, I got to hear some information from you. OK, and that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. What do you do is waiting on subscribe. I'm done.